Remember, don't embarrass mommy now. You must be Ms. Yes, I'm... And you brought your daughter. Did you have a daycare problem? No. I just thought you might want to meet your future students. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This way. Here at the Ingram School, we prepare young minds for greatness. Yes, I know. I've done my research. The competition to attend is quite onerous. Do you mind my asking how you chose to apply? I work down the street. You applied here because of your proximity to your employment? Fascinating. This sucks when your mother and the other child is here. And you brought the here? I'll take that to the next one so we can speak. Here, come on, baby. This is our competition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I brought some of my apple muffins because, you know, teachers do like apples. Everyone, please, have a seat. This is Ridley and Suzanne Wolf. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Wolf. No, I'm Ms. Pompous. I'm the Wolf's educational coach. I am Mrs. Wolf. Why are we here again, Mr. Aureus? There was an administrative error, and I needed to see the both of you. Please answer my question. Well, we accepted your child as well as Miss Witherspoon's child, and there's only space for one. I don't believe in problems, Principal Aureus. I believe in solutions. There's a solution here. We plan to accept the most qualified candidate. Here at the Ingram School, we're very nurturing, but we're also a ruthless meritocracy. What? Let's see which child has the most potential. Potential? She's a year old. I have been coaching all the Wolf's children all these years, their motor skills, their language comprehension, their self-help development is exemplary. Success is determined by more than one's performance on a test. I agree. It's also determined by genetics. If you need evidence beyond my obvious success, you need to look at my children from my first and third marriages. Our children are corporate lawyers, a judge, and a VP for a technology company. And my grandfather, in 1957, is a Nobel laureate in physics. Phenomenal strength from both sperm and egg. I can wait to get my hands on your progeny. What about you, Miss Witherspoon? What do you bring to the debate? My apple muffins. And if you would like to know in what way they're brought to the debate, you'll have to eat a muffin. These are delicious. Thank you. I sell them at the place where I work down the street. You own the Chow Chow Diner? I work at the Chow Chow Diner. Sometimes I bake. Mainly I'm a waitress. And the father of your child, what does he do? Don't know and don't care. But my daughter is awesome. Do you have any papers to verify how she is awesome as you say she is? Papers. I happen to write everything she needs for success in my little black book. <laughs> oh, okay. Mr. Wolf, I am far too valuable for my time for this charade. <laughs> I agree. This is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Mr. Wolfman, may I speak with you for a moment, please?
Miss Witherspoon, I don't know how your application got so far, but this isn't a school for honey boo boo. It's Chloe. This is a dog eat dog world, and this school is for children that eat other children. Now, you shouldn't push your child past where they can go. Good day, Miss Witherspoon. I heard Ingram School was the best, and that's where I want my daughter to go. I wrote it in my book, along with the names of all the people who are going to help me. Why has my application gotten so far, and why do I stand here without two dimes to rub together? Because it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and I am the biggest, baddest dog you'll ever see. And I will fight, and I will threaten, and I will kill to make sure my daughter has what she needs, and she needs the best. Are you trying to scare me? <laughs> that lightheadedness that you're feeling. The muffin had a pretty good amount of delicious poison in it that will shut your heart down in about 10 minutes. I have the antidote, however it comes at a cost. You're joking. Coincidence or not that your last principal at this school had a heart attack within the year? You're outrageous. And you're dead. Now get back in the room and I suggest you tell those buttheads that they can put their daughter in another school. Remember, don't embarrass mommy now.